What's up guys, welcome to the next part of the upgrade series. And uh, in this video I'm going to revisit my CPU cooler problem. Let's get started. Alright, so at the end of the last video uh, I had some issues installing this dumb stock CPU cooler that came with the chip. And in particular, these plastic posts, uh, this mounting uh, hardware here is just such a pain. Uh, it doesn't sit right, it's not very stable, and uh, I didn't want to fight with it. So I ended up putting it aside last night, and then when I got up this morning, I went to my local computer shop and I picked up a Hyper 212 Evo. Alright, so yes, I understand that this uh, Hyper 212 Evo is going to be overkill for this thing. I do understand that the 2120 does not overclock and it will not get hot. I get all that. But after um, wanting to throw that stupid cooler through the window uh, and uh, junking the project, I decided to uh, pick this up and more for my sanity than anything else. But there is some uh, some positive things about this. Number one, the cooler is actually very good. I'm, I, I really do like it in my, my current build. It's very quiet and when I do decide to upgrade the processor in this thing I won't have to buy a, uh, a cooler to go with it. So um, that's my story and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that. Alright let me get this out of the box and I'll show you how it goes on. Alright here's what's uh, what we need to do this install on the uh, 1155 socket here. Get your back plate and you get this um, bracket that sits um, on top of this metal part here on the cooler and then these posts screw down into um, through the bracket or through the motherboard and then into the bracket and there are these metal posts that will be coming up from the motherboard that these guys will screw into and then that's what holds down your CPU cooler. The kit includes a little um, a nut driver here that's got a standard Phillips head on one side and then um, the, uh, the actual uh, nut driver that will fit over these things so that you can screw these in properly. So that's convenient. So let me show you how that goes in. Alright, so here's a little bit from the instructions. And you want to make sure that on your back plate and on this uh, bracket that your uh, mounting holes are set properly. So in our case we're 1155 and you'll notice that in that little center picture there the arrow is pointing to that little uh, the middle notch on on there. So let me see if I can show you on the actual guy here. So this is the um, the bracket that sits on top of the cooler to hold it down and you'll see um, notches here it's better to the top and for the 1155 we want to make sure that all of these guys are moved over to the center notch and what you do is you just press this up and then that frees this over to slide to where you want it to go so make sure that that's set properly alright here's the back plate and you'll notice that there's a uh, like a sticker or a pad on the back over here and on each of these little legs and depending on what you have whether it's an AMD or an Intel depends on which which way this is going to get installed for all purposes uh, this side is going to be headed down on the motherboard now the posts that are going to get screwed in from the top let's see if I can show you there's a flat side there which you can see right on the top there and when you install the post you need to make sure that that flat side on this post here corresponds to the flat side over here and you'll notice that the notches are rounded make sure that the flat part is here so it'll sit right alright the instructions say to stick all the posts in through the bottom first but that's kind of hard to do so I just did one at a time and all I did is I uh, put it through 
and then just finger tightened the nut and at least that way that'll keep this secure and then I'll just go ahead and do the other ones as well alright all four posts are on and then you'll go ahead and tighten these uh, but you want to make sure that you tighten these um, diagonally so you want to do this guy and this guy together and then this guy and this guy and that just makes sure that the pressure uh, is evenly distributed while you're tightening those down and you don't have to hand crank them they don't have to be you know you're not putting a tire on a car uh, you're just making sure that this isn't going to move and it's secure so just make sure it's tight but not uh, overly tight you don't want to crack your motherboard okay here's the cooler without the fan your little bracket here has a little post over here that will fit in to that little hole so you'll slide this in that'll sit down in there and then when you open these up uh, this will go down on the motherboard and then you can screw these uh, into the uh, the posts that are on the motherboard and you have to have the fan removed so that you can get to either side and actually screw those in warning please take the plastic off thermal paste applied I heated the warning and I got rid of the plastic and thermal paste is there this will sit right on top and then we'll get the bracket right through there and we'll screw this down alright so just like the back plate you want to make sure that when you do the screws that you tighten them uh, diagonally so this guy and then the one over here and then this guy and then the one over here and then I like to use a long screwdriver because in that way I can actually get in nice and straight and not have to worry about hitting the fins with uh, the handle alright so before I put the fan on I went ahead and installed the memory because it'll be a lot easier to do without the uh, fan in the way alright the bottom of the fan actually is lower than the top of the memory but since I'm only using two sticks that's okay uh, if I decide to use or add more memory in the future I will uh, probably have to move this up a little bit but I think for now that's okay alright I actually did move the fan up just a little bit so I've got uh, proper clearance on the bottom there alright that's the CPU cooler and the memory installed and I think it actually looks very slick uh, the uh, the memory is black and it matches the motherboard and the fan over here is that smoky uh, color which is uh, really slick uh, again that's not by intention uh, but the fact that it does look you know cosmetically nice is uh, probably a bonus too thanks for watching see you next time bye bye